Item number SCP-2410 Object Class Keter Security Level 3 Special Containment Procedures Foundation web crawlers and agents and municipal police forces are to intercept reports of possible SCP-2410 manifestations and bring them to Foundation attention. Social media posts and emergency service calls regarding SCP-2410 are to be censored and all affected individuals are to be apprehended for questioning and administered amnestics. Instances of SCP-2410 are to be incinerated with the approval of any personnel with Level 3 or greater clearance. Foundation agents embedded in toy manufacturing quality assurance contractors are to regularly sample teddy bears across all known manufacturers in search of a pattern for SCP-2410 manifestations. Description SCP-2410 refers to stuffed bears that have experienced an ectoentropic phenomenon wherein the materials that previously filled the bears are instantaneously replaced with anatomically correct internals for a bear of that size. This includes muscle tissue, bone, and a complete set of internal organs, a circulatory system, and bodily fluid, such as blood and bile. Despite containing a full working anatomy, no biological processes take place within the bears, and none of the organ systems connect to the orifices. While minor differences in density and weight can be observed between affected and unaffected bears, these changes are inconsequential and often go unnoticed until an affected bear has been damaged in a significant manner. Upon being exposed to the environment, the instance will begin to decay at a rate that is typical for non-anomalous flesh and displays no further anomalous activity. Addendum 2410A Discovery Log Nicholas Hart, a six-year-old boy from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, called 911 on the 18th of March, 1979. The following is a transcription of the initial conversation between Nicholas Hart and Tammy White, a Sioux Falls police dispatcher. 911, what is your emergency? <laughs> Hello, is someone there? Can you hear me? Are you hurt? He's dead. Jiffy is dead. I'm sorry, young man, but I need to ask you to calm down so that I can understand you. Is someone hurt? I... Jiffy. I'm sorry. I still can't understand you very well. You need to calm down and tell me what is going on. Take a deep breath. I was playing with Jeffy outside, even though Mommy said I'm not allowed to bring my toys outside. We were running in the yard, and I wanted to go play in the woods so that Jeffy could see the woods, and... Wait, 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 wait. Jeffy is a toy? He's my teddy. <laughs> Honey, you can't call 911 just because you broke one of your toys. That's not an emergency. Are either your parents around? <laughs> no. Jeffy needs a doctor right now. He got stuck on a fence and his insides fell out and they're all over the ground. He's hurt. You need to help him. All right. I'll send an officer to talk to your parents and help Jeffy. Does it sound okay to you? Please. He's dying. End log. An officer arrived on the scene to find Nicholas Hart in the backyard of his house with his parents, all of whom were surrounding an instance of SCP-2410, which had been ripped open across the abdomen by a chain-link fence, disemboweling it. This was the first known report of an instance of SCP-2410, and this call was reported to the Foundation, when a field agent embedded in the Municipal Police Department became aware of the story. All involved parties are anesthetized, and the bear was replaced with an identical replica. Addendum 2410B Ethics Committee Proposal Regarding SCP-2410 Containment Enter Level 4 Credentials Accessing Content From A. Watowski 2051 Subject SCP-2410 Containment Date the 3rd of June, 2018. 
As of the 2nd of June 2018, there have been nearly 80,000 confirmed cases of SCP-2410, the vast majority of which has been discovered by children. According to initial psychological evaluations of these children, nearly 75% of them developed cases of juvenile generalized anxiety disorder, major depressive disorder, or post-traumatic stress disorder that persists even after amnestization. It is the position of the Ethics Committee that this is an unacceptable level of human suffering, and as such, we are proposing that the contained procedures for SCP-2410 be amended to correct this vicious oversight. The Ethics Committee are hereby proposing that all children who are to be administered amnestics as a result of SCP-2410 exposure are also be psychologically evaluated at a nearest site and enrolled in psychological counseling if appropriate. Director Angela Mutowski, Foundation Ethics Committee, Secure, Contain, Protect. Addendum 2410C, all five council vote on the proposal by the Ethics Committee. Yay, 5, 9, 10, 12. Nay, 1, 2, 8, 11, 13. Abstain, 3, 4, 6, 7. Status, motion denied. Enter level 4 credentials. From 051 to A. Witoski. Subject, reply SCP-2410 containment. Date, 13th of July, 2018. Director Wachowski, the Ethics Committee's concern for these affected negatively by SCP-2410 is certainly admirable, but regrettably, the O5 Council will not be adopting the proposed alterations to the current containment procedures. Our purpose is to preserve consensus normalcy. It is not our responsibility to care for what could go unnoticed by society. Those affected will not retain any memories of the anomaly, nor interactions with the Foundation after being processed and released. Our involvement ends there. Furthermore, the scope of this emotional trauma is beyond what the Foundation is able to respond to. The sudden and unexplained enrollment of tens of thousands of children into juvenile counseling systems across the world is a direct threat to normalcy. We cannot jeopardize the fail to deal with more issues that fall outside of our jurisdiction and threaten our goals as an organization. We die in the dark. What happens in the light is none of our concern. 051. Secure. Contain. Protect.